Hi everyone, I have just updated the system and installed new macOS Monterey. So I can properly test it out now, bring some news about it, play with new features, making new tutorials and so much more. So if you are not subscribed yet, you should do it not to miss anything in the future. The macOS Monterey Public Beta is available to anyone with a compatible Mac and it does not require a developer account. So everybody can download it right now. That is why I decided to make this guide to walk you through some simple steps on installing the beta software. First of all, this is not the official macOS release. It's just the public beta, so I don't recommend you to install it if you are not sure about it. Apple doesn't recommend installing this public beta on your main Mac at all. So if you have a secondary machine, you should use that. This is beta software and there are often some bugs or issues that can pop up and it can prevent some software from working properly or it can cause some other problems. But in fact, Apple is testing that for some time already through developers. So generally speaking, the system should be pretty much ready when the public beta is released. And so far, I don't see any issues using that for a few days myself. So go ahead if you are interested in this system. But enough talking, let's get to the guide. First step is to check the compatibility. Now on the screen you should see all the eligible devices. Pause it if you need to. You can get information about your Mac if you click on the app logo on the top left corner and here select about this Mac. Before you commit to upgrade to the Monterey beta, make sure you have a backup of your data. You can use Apple Time Machine backup feature or just simply copy your important data to an external drive. Again, everything should be perfectly fine, it's just a precautionary step to do. You might run into some bug or you need to reinstall macOS Big Sur and in this case, backup can be helpful. Now installing macOS Monterey requires enrolling your Mac in Apple's free beta software program. Nothing scary to do, just follow this link you see on the screen, I'll also leave it in the description for you. Here, click on the blue sign up button, or if you're already a member, just sign in. Now you have to enter your Apple ID and a password, and then a two-factor authentication code if this verification is required. You need to agree to the terms and conditions and whatsoever, just follow the instructions. It is basically the way Apple wants to tell you that it's not the final version, so you are downloading it at your own risk. You will be kind of testing the system before the official release, but you have no obligations in here just to use it, that Apple can see if it works on your device. Once you are signed in, scroll back up to the top of the page and click on Enroll your devices. Here select macOS. You will be redirected to this page where you can find the download button here. Unless you have changed it, the beta installer will go into your downloads. So you can just click on it there and open it up. Again, you might see a warning advising you to back up your Mac with Time Machine. Either stop here and really do the backup, or if you have already done so, just click OK and continue. Now you will need to agree to accept Apple software license agreement. Then click on install. Enter your admin password if needed and continue. Once the installer has completed the download, the system software update panel will open automatically and display the macOS Monterey beta download. Here click on upgrade now and it will start downloading. It will take some time to download because it has over 10 GB. From here it's very simple. Just click continue and walk through the steps as instructed. Agreeing to the terms and conditions and making sure you have performed the backup. Here just select the drive that you want to install the public beta on. You can choose your main drive or if you have any partition you have created, you can use that. Enter your administrator password and click OK. It takes some time for the update to install, but when the installation is finished and your Mac boots up, it will be running the macOS Monterey public beta. This year, macOS Monterey introduces a long list of new features, like universal control for using a mouse across multiple iPads or Macs, new FaceTime experience with sharing features for watching movies and listening to music with friends, new redesign in Safari browser, or the expected new Do Not Disturb mod called Focus. I will make videos about everything what is new in macOS Monterey. 
So if you're interested in this topic, subscribe to my channel that I can give you more useful information in the next video. So see you there.